good. Hey guys, Jim Chester here. I have Dr. Ryan Reeder with me. This guy came all the way over from? The UK, baby. <laughs> and uh, we just had an interview. Uh, Did we just see each other at Mile High? Yeah, like two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago. <laughs> Seems like two weeks ago. I yeah. think this guy's in the United States more than I am. <laughs> it's been, yeah, the, I'm, here, I'm here a lot. I'm here a lot. Next year, you're going to be seeing me even more here, even more here. You have to feel my poor wife. She's so amazing. I love you. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing that your wife lets you come out and do all these amazing things with the chiropractic community. Oh, it's incredible. Like anyone who's ever achieved anything in the world, you know, sometimes it's sometimes people joke about it from stage and they're like, I wouldn't be anywhere without my without my wife. But if they really knew the truth and they're like, I just understood, like you just can't do what either I'm doing or anyone's doing, either in business or consulting or traveling around the world without a massive support group who uh, gives you the space to be able to do that and then helps like look after the family and creates that like really the rock of the family. And uh, I'm so blessed to, uh, to that she's done that for me. So I really mean there. Thank you, baby. <laughs> and now you've been able to matriculate into this larger chiropractic family by coming here stateside. Yeah. Um, when did you first start coming over here and speaking? Um, so I've been speaking for years, um, but more at business conferences, actually. So I'd say my, probably my first U.S. event was when I saw you at uh, Focus. Focus, like two years ago. So I've been coming across um, kind of infrequently for two years. And uh, we're at Chirofresh now, in f amazing events. What an, what an incredible room. The room is packed. There's so many people here. Yeah, the speakers are incredible. So every time I come, I get something A. I'm speaking, but as a participant being in the room, I always, I always gain something. And you'll see, I love how the speakers, some of the best speakers are also front row learning. And I think that's such like a testament to the event that the speakers are there to learn too. It's incredible. So yeah. I know that I, whenever I'm here, I try to take, some, try to take something back so I can serve better. Yeah, and you know, the thing I've noticed with Kairofest mm -hmm. is that the leadership all sits up front and mm -hmm. that he brings in a star-studded lineup of uh, contributors. Yeah. So it's not just, you know, guys that are out here in the hallways, work in the hallways like I do, and these amazing vendors, I think there's like 40-some of them, yeah, all awesome. out here putting their money into the middle to help put this yeah. thing on. Yeah. But it's about the people that are up on stage contributing with each other. Yeah, yeah. And now what we're doing is building like this supercell of content and the supercell of connections and I know that one of the things that you do is incorporated with that is the new patient avalanche so I wanted to touch on that a little bit too and uh, after that we'll talk a little bit about what you spoke on because you just came off stage yeah I did okay cool well listen and I, you know for me I'm um I never forget, one of my greatest mentors in marketing is a guy by the name of Dan Kennedy. Most people know him, don't know him, you need to go check his stuff. And, <laughs> and Dan really taught me this, this concept that he that has the ability to put people through the front door it, it wins. Like the ability to be able to do that in business and that is marketing, you know. So many, many years ago I became a real student of it and it helped me grow our businesses from a million to over seven million dollars. And that really was just what I teach now, you know. We're not like a marketing company, we just teach what we do. So like I will teach you what I did on Monday. We'll be like, here's my marketing campaign. People get to use our emails, our exact copy. They, they really get to use if you will, us, my business is like a swap file, a, a massive swap file. So that's really what we're proud of. And my team becomes your team when they join that. And we've had people, um, first of all, New Patient Avalanche is a six to seven week program. It's live courses, if you will, live training. And we, take, we give you everything we got. We give you over 30 pieces of support material. And then a lot of people will choose to join me in my inner circle. And we keep that education going. And I'll tell you the thing I'm proudest of is the fact that um, at my masterminds, we have two rooms. We take CAs will go into one room and they will learn marketing strategies from my marketing team. Because one thing I know about docs, the less you do, the busier you'll get. So that's kind of like a weird thing. You know, we so obsessed with being busy. The less you do, like you are, this, a lot of the times, like you know what you're good at. You should not be touching Facebook. You should not be doing, it should happen in your business. And uh, probably the best saying, one of the best sayings I ever heard for getting something done in your business, if it's important to do, it's important that it gets done whether it's done badly or not. So the worst thing you could do is if it's not done properly, don't do it at all. Yeah. <laughs> the worst killer for business. If it's important to do, it's important that it's done even if it's done badly. So just get going. Just get somebody to help you in the business. You know, it's like just do the first video. I mean, look how look how professional. I mean, this setup, you guys can't see it. The setup's incredible. But when you started, it wasn't like that, I'm sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> so just start anyway. So that's a bit about New Patient Now Launch. And they've got a mastermind group and we help, help, help people grow. Well, the way I was told this is you don't have to get it right, but you have to get it going. No. 
And now my, my philosophy is move fast and break things. Yeah. And don't tell people you put it back together with super glue and duct tape. <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> duct tape. <laughs> That's a great piece of vibe. The analogy of that is true. Just go out and make as many mistakes as quickly as possible. We all suck at it when we start. That's part of the, that's, that's the tuition. Sucking at the things is the tuition <laughs> for being good at it. You have to be bad at it first to be good at it. And, and sometimes you can skip that by getting mentors, but you still have an element of that. And even when you're like doing well with one aspect, yeah. we just sat there and counseled with each other. And yeah. he's like, hey, I'm thinking about doing these new things. Yeah. What should I do? Yeah. So a lot of the things, what you learn is yeah. when you actually make these like advancements with your career, yes. you go to the guy that knows. And you ask the guy that knows yeah. because that gets you further along, you know, in shortcut. the path. You just yeah. want a shortcut. It, and it I, puts you to the front of the line. And you know, the more, I know you can relate this, the more you know, it's a funny conundrum. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. And like, and, and just gives you, you just be humbler and humbler and humbler and just you get more, uh, you, uh, the ability to ask for help. Three hardest things to say in the world. I'm sorry, I love you and please help me. Just the ability to go like, please, like I just did with you. I was like, hey, man, please can you help me? I'm trying to do this new videographer thing. It's the, the, the ability to do that that's going to shortcut a, a lot of times. So. Yeah, and I have to love that because, you know, that means that I'm making an impact too. Yeah, cool. If you're coming to me saying, hey, how do I do this stuff? Yeah. But let's talk more about you. I know yeah. that you just came off stage. Yeah. What was like the impetus of your, your talk up there and uh, what, what did you take away from it? Yeah, listen, I think um, whenever I speak, um, uh, you know, the, the, the difference between understand like what what are people going to be able to take home with them and make a difference so not making it too complicated but i'll give you five things i spoke about if i have i've worked with hundreds and hundreds of chiropractors all around the world and i would say that there's really only five things that make a very or that are correlating with very successful not just chiropractors but business people and number one is energy everything is energy man everything is energy you know mm -hmm. uh, aura. it's it's like you know people will pay to come see a fire burning Think about that for a second now. Are you prepared to be that fire? And by fire, I mean passion. People will come pay to see someone who's passionate, you know. Amen. Uh, uh, they will pay. Like, they just want to be around that, you know. They want some of that. You guys know what I'm talking about. Some of that. So passion. Next is determination. Determination, uh, I don't think we talk enough about in business. I don't know if you know this, but 63% of all businesses in America will only ever break even or make a loss. 63%. So determination, you've got to have be determined because business is it's, it's every single great entrepreneurial book you read, they all talk about how tough it was they, they, and, and they love it. It's part of our, because we grow when we do it. But don't go into business thinking that's going to be easy because it ain't. You know, it's hard, man. It's hard. There's a reason I'm bald. So, so it's tough work, you know. Uh, number three I spoke about was certainty. Every gay chiropractor we see has just like, you know, it's, they all say the same thing. They all act the same way. They're all very, very certain. But I did speak about certainty. You know, we weren't all born certain about anything in life, including chiropractic. So a lot of us, like me, who came out of college, I mean, I came out of chiropractic college. I didn't even know what the green, I wasn't even taught what the green books were at chiropractic college. So I had to learn it and I had to be determined first to become certain. And I think that's a very key point is that I just didn't, I became in an instant, I didn't become certain but I be, in an instant I became certain of what I needed to become certain on and that was from coming to events like this you know mm -hmm. seeing the same guys up on stage and it was like a good friend of mine Danny Constable and I hope he sees this I loved it he said from stage once he said you'd have to be an idiot not to put two and two together that say and do what those successful guys do and you will be successful like mm -hmm. you'd have to be an idiot not to put the two, two together you know and I'll never forget Danny saying that and then I spoke about number four was respect for business principles again a business is a panacea. Every great business needs a good marketing department. Every great business has good accounts. Every great business has a sales department or sales focus. So it is a panacea. And sometimes we think that if we're very hot here, we can get we get to like not do this. It's not true. Every business is a panacea. All need, there's people way cleverer than me and you and everyone here who've done amazing things in business so like learn from them and model them don't think that your business is any different it's an and conversation it's philosophy it's being principled it's knowing the principles mm -hmm. and having a great marketing department yes. and being sales focused and being service focused it's an and conversation yes. and then lastly I spoke about um, you can have all those things going really well for you but if you don't have the last thing, which is self-concept and self-love and forgiveness and all those things, really, you will never outgrow your self-concept. One of my greatest mentors, Blessing, had taught me that. You will never outgrow your self-concept, meaning that you are always your big, biggest bottleneck. And there's no such thing mm. as business problems. There's only personal problems that show up as business problems. Mm. Let me say that one more time. There's no such thing as a 
business problem. There's only personal problems that show up as, as business, business problems. problems. <laughs> so you, if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a bit messy at home, your, pro your practice is probably going to be messy, and et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of what I spoke about. And that, you know that's so true. Like yeah. if you study the way some people tie their shoes, if they do or they don't, if you study if their belt's fitting properly, if it does or it doesn't, yeah. if their shirt's pressed properly, yeah. if it does or if it is or isn't, you can probably tell a lot about how they keep their vehicle. You can 100%. probably tell a lot about how they keep their personal office, how they keep their bathroom, how they keep their bedroom, how they keep their foyer, how they keep everything. 100%. Because the, the old saying, I'm sure you've heard this a million times, how you do one thing is how you do everything. Totally, totally, totally. And one of my, another one mentors, T.R. Becca always says, how you do anything is how you do everything. So, and I love and hate that saying, by the way. I love and hate that saying because it keeps me like, I'm like, if I'm sloppy here, I'm probably sloppy somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, you know, and that might sound quite harsh coming out like that, like a harsh environment, but I'll tell you that performance requires pressure, me included. I need accountability around me. I need coaches. I need mentors. And like I, that's why I always say, like, make sure you've got as much accountability around you as possible. People kicking your ass, my ass, because <laughs> every level has a new devil. We had $7 million. I still need someone to kick my ass. I still need someone to, who's there holding accountability because left to our own devices, we really suck as human beings. We need accountability. And accountability comes in different forms. It may just be the extreme accountability of providing for your family or paying, I've got half a million dollars worth of rent to pay a year. That's a lot of accountability. And it makes me perform at a higher level. So I enjoy that. And the person with the most skin in the game wins. Anyway, that's what we spoke about. So last question for yeah. you. What's next? So what's next for me is I am going to be in America a lot next year. We are going to, we just hired a full-time videographer. We're going to be giving everyone a bird's eye view or a, if you will, a fly on the wall, a wall, a fly on the wall at all my meetings. I'm going to be exposing, if you will, everything, how I run my business, the good stuff and the not so good stuff because that is business. It's messy. So that's next for us. Please, we're going to have a brand new uh, YouTube channel. Check it out. We've only just launched it last week. There's only, there's only one or two videos on there, but we're going to be producing two or three videos a week so we can show you guys the real nuts and bolts of how to run a business, how I run my business. And then we're also going to be coming to the States three times next year. We're going to be doing tours, so keep an eye out for that. And I've got a one-day crash course coming next year in America, so keep an eye for that. I'd love to see you there. And one of the things I always say is I love this man because he has vision. He's done the heavy lifting. And now what he's doing after he, he earned it all is now he's giving it to all of you. And that's the most beautiful yeah. thing is when you have it all, just give it back to everybody, man. Yeah. And that's something that's so beautiful about yeah. what you're accomplishing. Cool. Thanks, man. So it's going to give you a big hug. Thanks, dude. I appreciate you and I appreciate the opportunity to share. And I hope someone learned something from this. An amazing event that Paul's put on here. If, you ha if, you, if, you, if you're not here this year, you've got to be here next year. I'm so impressed. It's incredible. So please make sure you, you register for Cairo Fest as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and close out and tell you guys yours one story away. Keep hustling. We'll see you on the next one.